What's going on everybody? Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about a really fun project that I did and some PETG. And look at this thing. I was just printing a bunch of parts while reviewing and testing a couple machines. And this is a V8 engine block inspired cooler slash drink holder. And it is the coolest. Lame joke? Ah, whatever. This thing is just amazing. As soon as I saw it, uh, I just couldn't resist making it. it. Inspired me to make these little gaskets just to add a little bit of flair. I printed them out in TPU. And what I wanted to do for this project was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, for those that have been following along or maybe are in my Discord, you guys already know that for whatever reason, I have trouble printing PTG. I've printed all sorts of filaments in these years of, of 3D printing, anything from basic PLA, obviously, to uh, some of the coolest stuff like uh, PPS carbon fiber. That's my favorite current filament. It's just epic what that thing is. But for whatever reason, I just have some trouble with PTG. It's almost cursed at this point. And for this project, I decided, hey, you know what? I want to challenge myself. I want to grab some metallic uh, silver uh, PTG just to print. Uh, this project out of. I want to make this as a gift for somebody. So I went online and I was going to go through my typical channels of getting uh, PTG, such as 3D Max, where I get a 5% off coupon with code 3D Print SOS, or Polymaker, which sponsors the channel, makes really high end, great filament. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to hop on Amazon, what anyone else would do, and find the cheapest. PTG. So I did. I found $15 PTG. I went and grabbed two spools of the stuff, threw it into the Ace Pro uh, for about 10 hours overnight. And well, I just realized this doesn't have the uh, company name on it at all. These are actually unbranded. Uh, so we'll go back to the Amazon listing for that. But I grabbed two of these things. And as you can see, one's completely empty. Uh, and I just went ahead and started printing the next day. So I threw it on to the uh, Anycubic uh, S1 Pro here and <laughs> well, I got this and it was entirely my fault actually. The print itself looks really good, uh, but I forgot to enable supports and well, this bridging was cool, but right at the top here, it looks like I got a snag and it just took this thing right off the build plate and uh, well, the rest is SpaghettiOs. So I went ahead and tried it again, which is one of the successful ones on the bottom. And it had a little bit of an issue here and there, nothing too bad. You're gonna have to really start to peep on the layers uh, to, to see the issues, but there are a few. It's not absolutely perfect. Uh, so after I printed another one of these larger ones, they are a longer print, they're about 14 hours. That's why losing this was kind of sad. Um, so I ran out of the first spool. I went ahead and uh, put in the second one. And as you can see, uh, the filament pigment is just a little bit different. There is a little bit of a color difference between the two. And I printed this one and I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll make two of these things. And I found the smaller uh, files uh, of the from the original design. So I started to print this and the filament just kept printing worse and worse and worse. And uh, I printed it again. And I, this one, I didn't even take it off the build plate. As you can see right over here, it is just, well, it's not the prettiest. There's a lot of issues with this one. Anything from blobs and, and ob the obvious stringing. Nothing you can't really clean up, but um, since this is gonna be a gift, I kind of wanted it to be the best it can be. So I ended up using the two larger ones. So uh, for those that are curious, yeah, I'm still cursed with PTG, uh, whether it's the material I choose or the settings I choose or the, you know, no matter which printers I've printed, because at this point I've printed with pretty much every kind of machine. Um, so let's talk about that a little bit. I printed all of the larger pieces on the S1 Pro, like I mentioned. Then these beautiful end caps I printed on the Flash Forge 5X as well as as the TPU gaskets that I made just to add a little bit more flair to this thing. And then uh, for the carbon fiber PETG uh, that I had here, as you can see this handle articulates by the way, and you can take out these bins. All of this stuff was printed on the Magneto X by Piapoli and it came out absolutely fantastic as you can see. So yeah, you take those off, you throw in your ice right in the middle there, you put in your cans or your bottles or whatever you want, uh, whichever be beverages you want to cool and this is just a conversation piece for sure. I could just imagine coming in with this cooler and well, 
I guess it depends who you're with, of course. Uh, it's definitely gonna get some attention and start a conversation. I'm just in love with it. I'm gonna have files for pretty much everything that I covered here uh, down below in the description, as well as all the links uh, to the filament. If you guys wanna give it a go and maybe show me up, uh, as well as the, the filament that I would suggest instead, uh, and all of these machines, if you guys want to support, all those links are affiliate links. As well, if you wanna grab some cool merch, go ahead and scan this bad boy right over here. It'll take you to 3dprintsos.com where you can get some fun stuff. All right, just a quick one to share a really fun project that inspired me a little bit to make something of my own. All right, guys, as always, I'll see you all in the comments. Later. Later.